Well, joining me in the studio is socialist and author Grace Blakely and YouTube commentator Pearl Davis, uh, both, I would imagine, identifying as provocateurs. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this first of all, Pearl. I, I just find the whole personal pronoun thing honestly absurd. I, my personal pronouns on my Twitter biography are now uh, hot, hotter, hottest. <laughs> and, I, frankly, if people don't call me those, then they have to be jailed. I go along with that. But I did that to highlight that when I do that and say that, people then accuse me of being ridiculous. I think the whole thing is ridiculous. Why do we need personal pronouns? We don't need personal pronouns. I honestly, I don't think it's kind to allow people to live in delusion. Wait, are you at the end of the day, 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 other than we don't, the regular. We, know, we all know, we all know what a man and a woman is, okay? Just because you dress like a woman, talk like a woman, act like a woman, it does not make you a woman. And I am so tired of us allowing these people to let us live in delusion. It is delusional to think you are the opposite gender, and it is not kind I to I can't even that. go on... I love flying British Airways, right? My preferred airline. Mm -hmm. The wonderful airline. And they always used to... There would always be a lovely, posh voice saying, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Britain. And I used to felt soothing, particularly if I came from another country back to Britain. I felt immediately at ease. My captain was there, sounding like he was, you know, from some... Mm wonderful pathy news bulletin, and he referred to us as ladies and gentlemen. That's now been banned. They're not allowed to say ladies and gentlemen because there might be one person on the plane who says, oh, whoa, whoa, hang on, I don't identify as a lady or a gentleman. Well, OK, fine, I don't care, but I do. So where's my right to be I'm called a gentleman? Here's Grace? know how I feel about this. I'm so so bored of it all. I'm so bored of the fact that this is the one item that's constantly coming up over and over and over again. And you can completely see why, right? Conservative governments have destroyed our economy. We're in the middle of a massive climate crisis, just after the hottest week ever. I've just come over from Europe. It's extremely hot. And instead of talking about that, we spend hours and mm. hours and hours talking about pronouns, talking about going into bathrooms, talking about, you know, all of this stuff that just doesn't matter. Yeah, but you see, it doesn't matter. Hang on, hang on. But hang on. It doesn't matter to you. I'm so bored. It doesn't matter it to is. you. But it does matter to women in sport. It does matter to sure. women whose young daughters might be using these dressing of course, rooms. Unless... It does matter to the victims of male rapists who see their attackers identify as women and to get into women's prisons. Sorry, issues. so when you say they don't matter, they really do Let's matter. Let's have those issues aired in the appropriate, you know, spaces. We are. In, you know, in sport, That's... have that discussion amongst well, those sports you know, people. Lucky... But, like, literally, it's about priorities, isn't it? Lucky there is a certain you. number I'm, of time I'm a, I'm a that we athlete. have on these shows to discuss I, the issues that matter. I play, I play and, like, you don't think the... women's... Hang on, you... before we come to our next... I don't think women's sport matters as much as climate change. Women's... No. I think, like, having a planet matter? in which we can play sport does, matters more than the rules Does women's sport. equality matter? I know that that would be probably absolutely Does women's equality matter to you? Well, I mean, yeah, of course, but actually, okay. I mean, the whole point okay. like, that I was going to make on this segment, actually, is that, like, you cannot separate feminism from class issues. Mm. Like, if you're just going around saying, like, I don't know, um, I think the female CEO of a weapons manufacturer should mm. be paid the same as a male CEO, and that's the hill I'm going to die on. I'm not fighting that fight with you, because ultimately, like, what I care about are the struggles that ordinary women face okay. every day. Well, let's come to the, the main point of the segment, which is this issue of women's rights to be paid the same as men in sport. Now, the Australian women's football team have criticised the pay gap in the upcoming World Cup prize money. Let's take a look at what they said as a team. 736 footballers have the honour of representing their country on the world's biggest stage this tournament. Yet many are still denied the basic right to organise and collectively bargain. Collective bargaining has allowed us to ensure we now get the same conditions as the Socceroos, with one exception. FIFA will still only offer women one quarter as much prize money as men for the same achievement. Well, OK, this is an interesting, Pearl, because if you look at the revenue, for example, in 2019, FIFA generated uh, £586 million in total revenue. The men's, uh, for the 2019-22 cycle, £5.8 billion. Uh, record revenue through the Men's World Cup. So the, the, the women's game has come on in leaps and bounds. The English Lionesses, fantastic win, sell-out crowds, they're making a lot more money. They're definitely 
way, way further now towards where the men are commercially than they were, but they're still a way off. Mm -hmm. And when you saw at Wimbledon, for example, the men's final was watched by three times as many people, and yet they were both free to wear on the BBC. You could watch both if you wanted to. So there was three times as much interest in the men's game. They played two sets more per match mm -hmm. than the women do, and yet the women get equal pay. I'm not quite sure why. I don't think it's a matter of equality. It's just a matter of fairness, isn't it? Yeah, well, I, I won. I think all of the women should thank the men for funding our leagues because most of our leagues would not exist without the men, number mm. one. Number two, when we have the same numbers, then we should get the same pay. I'm sorry, I play, I play vo volleyball at the highest level, and it's like when we make what the men make and get the crowds that the men draw, then we should get paid the same. Well, see, why, I, is it, why is it actually a fight for equality, Grace? I mean... Why, if, if women in a particular sport, for example, turned out to generate more revenue, right, because they were more watchable, and in America, the, the women's football team is better than the men, and they do generate, even at school level, far more interest from girls than boys, for example, I don't see why equality should be the aim. Why shouldn't they get paid more than the men? Well, look, I mean... There are all sorts of problems with the way that this market for labour, and it is basically a market for labour, works. Like, I personally don't think that the top football players in the world should be paid as much as they do. I think it's ridiculous, the amount... Well, that's market of, force. Of, 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 exactly. It's market forces. Well, why shouldn't should they get that? Should that be the way that we decide, you know, who, who, decide who generates you? what... Who generates who what... Well, they they get, they get... Personally, I'm very much in favour of the fact that they came out there and said, collective bargaining. Ultimately, like... The average worker in this country hasn't had a no. pay rise in over a decade. I'm How so is that going to change? I am That's so going to change when they organise whining. with one another. I am so oh. tired of women whining. Mate, it's the only like person whining the men, at the moment the is men, The men, literally, the men fund our leagues and we will still whine that we don't get paid enough. And honestly, when athletes do shit like this, it makes all of us look bad. Because instead of being thankful for the league that we have, we go out and whine and complain about the pay. I mean, as I said... I'm not whining. You sound like you're maybe doing a bit of whining. But, like, personally, I don't think we should be whining. I think people should be organising. If you want, the, a, if you you want a pay the, increase, you think, join a union, get out there and fight for should it. That's the, my view. Should the women footballers get the same as the men? Yeah, I think it probably makes sense. Even if they're not but making anything like the revenue. Ultimately, like, it's the not going to change. Footballers lost it's not going to change unless they organise. That's actually true across every sector. Let me ask you, let me know, how much... If you right, want a pay rise, okay. join a union and fight for one. Let me ask you this, though. They have got unions. Exactly. Let me ask you this. On talent alone, for example, as a yardstick, the US women's football team were beaten by a group of under-15 boys from Texas, right, who were very good under-15 boys, but their under-15 boys team beat them, I think, about 8 9 nil or something. So why should women footballers, who are clearly nowhere near as good as their male counterparts, just technically, why should they get paid anything like as much money? Well, I mean, you know, it sucks, doesn't it, that, like, as a woman... Yeah, OK, you're a, you play volleyball. I'm a surfer. I absolutely love surfing. It's very hard for women to build up a body strength. This is something that I've learned the, very much the hard way. And so, you Surfers, know, it by is, the way, there is, there is equal pay. Yeah, there is. And actually, you know, it, it, it's one of those sports where... Can a woman be opinion, as good as a man or not? Watch, well, it's different. It's a different sport, mm. really. It's not, you know, it is the same sport, but it's very different watching a woman surf than it is watching a man surf because, you know, the average male body is different from the average woman, like, uh, woman's body for all these... But is there any reasons. actual technical reason why a woman can't do with a surf or what a man can do? Yeah, there's, I mean, there's loads of reasons. Like, it is about the upper body strength. It's about, like, the way that the body is built. So should women surfers at the elite level get the same as men? But, like, again, I think it's it just is different. Like, it's a different kind of game and people watch it, I oh, think, Oh, you're shaking your head. No, I just think when we start <laughs> making the same amount of money as the men, then we should get paid the same as the men. I don't hear the men whining about OnlyFans models getting paid more than them. I don't hear the men whining is about models getting paid Dude. more than them. Kendall That's... Jenner is the highest paid supermodel. Where are the male supermodels. But, but whenever out. men dominate in an industry, women will just complain. I mean, I don't know if that's true about OnlyFans, because there are a lot of men on OnlyFans as well. But I mean, look, the main point you here... You think they make the same? I have no idea, but like, maybe well, you averaged you... out the number of men and women that are on that website. Anyway, look, the main point no. here, the point that I came on here that I wanted to make was that um, the... Like, the problem that we have in, in our economy at the moment is not that, like, the average football player isn't played the same as the average man. It is probably an injustice, and I'm glad that they're organising and working together to fight for that. But ultimately, the problem we have in our economy is that nobody's getting paid enough money because inflation's eroded people's wages. Even before that, no-one had a pay rise in a really long time. But, but, and okay. the lesson from this is 
as I've said, I'm going to say it again because mm. it's an important lesson and no one knows about them anymore because they see them as a hangover from the 1970s. Join a union because otherwise your boss is going to yeah, walk away. but there are unions for all these. They're all, it's the unions that are fighting for them. Exactly. But, but on, on, OK, but just as a general point, though, the principle you think it, that women should get paid the same even if they're not as technically as good and not producing as well, much revenue. Well, it's a revenue. subjective judgment, isn't it, on whether or not they're, like, technically as good? Well, not no, really. It's not. It's not. No, it's not. Because well, people watch men and no, women's sports not. for different reasons. Well, let me give an example. An example would be the Olympics. If you made it non-gender specific, how many women would win medals? Well, I mean... None. OK. If I mean, maybe in equestrian and maybe in shooting, I think, are the but two. But again, I think... Where there's no sense that the men might win. Is, you can say, like, oh, you know, this group is better than this group. But again, I think it's different. Men are better than women we at watch. sports. Yes, let's not live in this delusion. And in most, I, I played and 16 years in most cases, years and in most cases Grace, sports. more people, men and women, want to watch men play sports. Correct. That's I mean, just a demonstrable name, fact. Name, that may change. And my point five... is, if it changes, I don't see why equality should be the only ambition for the women. If it turns out that in some sport, women get more viewers watching and therefore draw more revenue, I'm more for them getting more money than the men. Can you name five WNBA players? Five female soccer players. I mean, I can't name any soccer players That's already. That's crazy. I what wish we had the, the support WNBA? from the, the feminists. Basketball? I don't we know. would get equal pay if we would just get the support from the feminists. Well, let me tell, me, let me tell you. Just, name, name five. Let me name tell you. Five, what, <laughs> WNBA, I don't even know what the WNBA I'm is. We exactly. need our support. You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> yeah, you really are. Um, <laughs> but I do want to mention one thing, which is I had Dale Vince on the program. He's this. Uh, he's fun, been funding Just Stop Oil. And also, he's, he was very, very keen to show his feminist credentials because he just he owns a football team and he had just hired the first female manager uh, of a football team. But there was a slight problem, which he only made of the caretaker. And I saw a potential flaw here. So let's see what went down when I interviewed him. You didn't think by appointing the first female caretaker manager of a professional men's team, you would get any attention? She's the best candidate for the job at the club. This is what happens. You look at within the club, you find your best coach and you say, take the team in an interim t uh, period while we do a proper recruitment process. That's all that's happening here. Why do you keep coming back to that? Because she's if only you look a at caretaker. Our record of appointments. She's only a caretaker. Look at our record of appointments. So if you believed in that much, you'd have made her manager. You've got all the publicity, but actually no, no, she's no. not got the full that's job. That's not how it works. And I suspect what's going to happen is you're going to go you and find... understood football. You're going to probably go and find a bloke to I, replace her, and then you're going to have to deal with that. I, I thought you understood football, Piss. I do. I'm an Arsenal fan. Did. Well, you might be massively unsurprised to learn that 12 days later, Anna Dinkley has been removed from her job as caretaker manager and replaced by a man. Yeah, Dale talked a good game on feminism and women's rights and boasted about it and got all the publicity. And in the end, he got rid of her after 12 days and put a bloke in charge. And you can make your own view about Mr Vince for doing that. Uh, lovely to see you both. Thank you both very much indeed. I'm